What's up guys? On today's episode we talk about attitude, an awesome hitting drill, and what really happened on that fateful day in third grade to Josh. Are you supposed to wear the hat? I told you I'm not wearing a hat. What's up guys? This is episode 5, Wade Gainer Talk Show. It's Wade Gainer. It's my birthday, so I have this hat on. I'm not going to wear this hat anymore. Dude, you got to wear it. No, I wear it the whole time. It's your <laughs> birthday. <laughs> I'm re it's really not happening. I'll put it here. Compromise. Go on my That's glove. like the weakest compromise ever. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, so I'm happier now. Episode 5. Wade Gainer Talk Show. Thanks for catching up with us here. Get right into it. This week in baseball. Little League Baseball in full swing. We talked about it a little bit last week. Uh, I've been driving through the parks, uh, the local parks down in Owensboro, around here. And, you know, guys are out there every night. Little guys, little girls. Uh, I've seen a lot of softball games. Really wanted to touch on a couple key points. I've swung by, watched a few games here or there. I'm on my way home from work. Really important attitude, body language. You can't teach it young enough, okay? Um, you're a little ball player, guy, gal, whichever. Um, you know, this game teaches us a lot, and I wanted to open up the show with this. It teaches you a whole lot. It teaches you how to deal with adversity, how to deal with failure. And if they're not learning those lessons when they're 10 years old, they're going to be 18 and have the same problems. And we see it every night on TV. We see it whenever we go to high school games. Uh, you know, learn to respect the game. Play it the right way. We play hard, but we have to know how to deal with failure. And I'm not talking about beating them over the head with a stick or a bat. They're going to cry. I cried. Everybody cries whenever you're a little kid. Josh never cried. Yeah, you did. I was there. You cried all the time. We can tell not everybody. All not all the time. We can tell everybody how you couldn't spend the night anywhere but your house for like a long time. Okay, I'll let this head out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll leave it. All right. So Josh cried. I cried. Okay, I'm not talking about crying. I'm talking about poor attitudes. Okay, they react poorly to their parents, you, your coach, whatever it is. You know, those are real coaching opportunities. That's the point of youth sports is to grow young men and women into, be, into better individuals, okay? So, this week in baseball, usually we're gonna talk about big leagues, stuff like that. I wanted to hit the show off at that point. Attitude, um, you gotta have a positive attitude, you gotta be a team player, and these are things you can't learn too early, but you can learn too late. I've played with a lot of guys, uh, those lessons were never learned, okay? And uh, it's, real, it's just a good teaching point. It's a great opportunity for uh, these young guys and girls to, uh, to learn a lesson they can take with them later in life. All right, guys, it's that time of the show. We're going to get to some questions. Hashtag Ask Wade G. Don't forget to send in your questions. This week, I believe we have one. Let's get it started. So this is a great question, really hard to answer actually. I've had a ton of great coaches, mentors, really helped me along the way. There's no way I could get to all of the great advice that I've been given, but one thing stands out in my mind, and it kind of touches on what we talked about to start the show off. Um, I was right up the hill here in Little League. I was 10 years old, uh, dad was working a whole lot, and wasn't able to come to many games. So I'm out there playing shortstop, you know, acting like a kid does. And I'm kind of trotting around. We're, I'm pouting. We were getting beat real badly. Uh, it was an all-star game, actually. 
And there's a ground ball hit up the middle. I kind of trotted to it, you know, watched it go into center field, whatever. And I didn't get to it. I didn't think anything of it. Bad, bad body language, you know, 10, 11 years old. Thought I was a big deal. And I'm out there, you know, acting like I'm better in the game, better in the team. And I get in the dugout, and all of a sudden I sit down and I feel a tug on my shirt. And it was my dad. And he took me behind the concession stand, pinned me up against the wall. He didn't abuse me, all right? And he firmly told me that he works way too hard, too often, to come out and watch me halfway play the game. Uh, and I can promise you, I am 28 today, actually, and I was 10, and I still remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, it meant a lot to me, what he was saying, and it was true, and I thought it was awesome. There goes the hat. That was awesome. I ain't playing that. But anyways, I thought it was true, and I think it, it did, uh, you know, a lot for me because I wanted to be that player from that day on that played harder than anybody on the field. Um, and that was great in college and pro ball, you know. Uh, try to be that guy, and I learned it at an early age. And that's why I'm pretty passionate about when these kids are young, they're going to make mistakes. They're going to do things, they're going to say things that um, aren't right, to put it plainly. Uh, and it's the coach's job, the parent's job, to guide them the right way. Uh, like I said, we don't need to beat our kids over the head, but uh, they got to know this is unacceptable. This is acceptable. We expect what we expect. So that was the best advice I, I ever got playing the game. All right, guys, my personal favorite part of the show. We have another swing analysis for you from our hashtag Take a Swing Tuesday. This guy was one of the first three to get us a video. Like we said, we're going to try to get to everybody we can. Keep those videos coming. Hashtag Take a Swing Tuesday. Um, let's get right into it and check this swing out. All right, I love this video here. He's got the bat down in front of his feet. He's trying to stay lined up. He's got a quick little swing. You can tell he's an athlete. He's got good hand position on the bat. He's got a good grip. His hand position with respect to his stance is great. It's about even with that shoulder. He gets through it with the back side. If you watch, he really drives that. His right knee really gets through his swing. Front half stays closed off. Um, I really like it. Uh, two points I want to get across to everybody. Two things I think will really help this guy out. Number one, in his stance. All you dads out there, hear me today. If you don't hear anything else, we're going to talk about stance. Rule of thumb. A lot of stances are different. Some guys stand up, some guys squat down. If we're trying to, to get a strong base, we draw our power up from our feet into our legs and it goes into our swing. Okay, so if you think about doing a deadlift or a squat, you'd be just over shoulder width apart because that's a very strong position for your body to be in. That stance, as you can see, his feet, they're just past his shoulder. He takes a stride. You can tell he's working on his stride and timing, but his bottom is sticking back. He's back, okay? That's, that's a weaker position than if your hips are under you. We're going to talk about keeping our weight under us um, our hips under us in a very strong position. So that's number one. Number two, just like every young kid, especially in our region, he's got a lot of shoulder in his swing. Now everybody says, well, yeah, you swing with your arms. How do you not have your shoulders in your swing? Well, I'm going to show you here in just a second. I'm going to have a great drill for you. Kids of all ages, don't care if it's a professional player, or this guy right here. This is a great drill to work on using your hands effectively, okay? Uh, but quick swing, he's hitting the ball. You can tell he's working on a couple things. Mom and dad got him in the yard working. I mean, that's half the battle right there. This kid's practicing at home. That's what it's all about. Uh, anytime you're practicing at home, 
you're getting better, you're gonna be better. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this little guy right here what I'm talking about. These two tips, he's gonna be driving the ball even better than he is in this video, which is impressive already. I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right into it and show him what I'm talking about. So we broke the swing down a little bit, touched on a couple key points that we wanna talk about that are immediately gonna enhance this guy's game. Uh, talked about what he was doing well, which was more than what he's not. Uh, he's doing a great job. So what we're gonna talk about, I don't wanna get crazy with the stance topic, okay? Um, a lot of people want this cookie cutter stance. I am anti that. I disagree completely. Um, there are absolutes, which you'll hear me talk about in future videos, as far as hitting position. Every hitter gets here, um, that's an absolute. But a stance, I mean, I've had multiple stances. I've played with guys, some stand up, some squat down. We all find ourselves getting into the same hitting position. So stance I'm not crazy about, but I think this would be very beneficial for all you dads. Um, if you're just teaching your son how to hit, okay, think about a deadlift. If I'm gonna deadlift something really heavy or squat, I'm gonna get in this stance. It's just like I grab a rebound in basketball. It's just like I'm getting ready to jump. I'm gonna be in this position. It's a strong position. It's hard to push somebody over when they're right here. So our feet are just past shoulder width apart. We don't wanna stride way out here, okay? We don't wanna, when we're done striding, be right here either. We're not using all of our force, all of our strength. So this guy does a great job of this. So good job, buddy. Um, you're right here, he takes a stride, he's ready to go, okay? Now, something I wanna talk about that goes with this, I'm gonna face a different way on the camera. I'm gonna stand right here. My feet are just past shoulder width apart, okay? I've got my stance, but there's a big difference between this and right here. My hips are under me, I'm ready to turn. Okay, I'm ready to twist my hips, fire this backside, my right knee, like this guy does really well. Um, he really gets it through there. But watch what I have to do if I stick my butt straight back. All right, I'm here, I can't swing like this. Okay, so my hips have to get under me to get through the baseball. They have to go this way. Okay, a pitcher wants to see you in this position. All right, a lot of us, when we see that tough slider, we go, oh, and we can't swing from there. We've got no, we've got no power. All our legs, we can't do anything with them, okay? So it's, it's pointless to start out with your booty back, all right? Sink into your hips right here, and we're ready to go. I'm in a really strong position. My hips are under me and I'm ready to go. I don't have to do anything but be quick and drive and have a nice torque through the baseball, okay? And our backside, and we'll get more into this later, the quicker this is, the quicker your bat's gonna be through the zone. So, anything we can do to make it easier, and this is a really easy fix, so instead of staying here, we just start out right here, okay? It's gonna feel funny at first, it's gonna help you be quicker through the zone. Second tip is gonna be a drill, okay? And absolutely free like everything else we do here. This will not only help this young ball player, it will help you if you're a ball player, no matter what the level, or it'll help you if you're a dad because I guarantee you this is a great drill you can do with your kid. At home, in the yard, at the field, wherever you are. We're gonna get right into it. First thing you gotta do is uh, if you're a lefty, Obviously, this would be a mirror image. You'll go down on your left leg. But all righties, we're gonna kneel down. We put our right knee down. We straighten our left leg out in front of us. And we're right here. Now, Josh, what is this gonna help us do? Uh, not move your- Other than toughen my knee up. Not move your hips. Not move your hips? That's a good guess. 
<laughs> That's exactly what it was. Yes. <laughs> All right. What we're doing is we're eliminating our lower half, and there's no way to swing with your shoulders and look good doing this drill. Okay, so we're going to use our hands. I talked about it earlier. Once again, great tip for this little guy. Hope you do this drill. Same yard, same bat, balls. Just drop down in this position. You're ready to go. Okay, so what, what, what every little guy is going to do, and I know this because I give lessons, I see it time and time again, is they're going to use their shoulders and they're going to swing like this. And they're going to fall backwards this way, this way, and it's going to look really awkward. And they're going to fight the ball off like so. What this drill does is it forces the kids to use their hands. So we want the chest, you're going to feel like you're leaning forward, and we're throwing our hands, okay? It's all hands, just like this. So this is kind of a tough drill at first, okay? They're not gonna just catch right on, but repetition, 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 just like every drill. With the exception of the advice, which was mental advice last week, there is no overnight fix to hitting. If somebody's telling you there is, they're lying to you, it's not true. So, last week, Josh is telling me we can go last week, if you missed it, is over here, all right? But to continue with the drill, what we do is we do not swing with our shoulders or it'll force us to bail out, shoulder goes this way, we fall over, we lose our balance, okay? So with this drill, you'll have somebody tossing to you from the front. I prefer the side, just like this video, just, same thing, little guy. You're just going to be down on your knee, all right? And we get right here, lean our chest a little forward, and we throw our hands, just like this, over and over. And what you'll see is the only way to hit the ball, square it up without falling backwards, is to throw your hands because you cannot swing with your shoulders and maintain balance in this position. It's an uncomfortable position, but you sit there, flip five in a row, stand up, straighten your legs out. And that's what we do. But what you want to look for is falling backwards like this. Really good drill for that, okay? Really good drill if the left shoulder's flying off like every young kid does. This is just a great drill, all right? So we're right here and we throw our hands. And we don't have to swing hard. We're just like this and we're just squaring the ball up. We're not trying to hit bombs. We're not trying anything way up in the air. Nice line drives, level swing, and we have to use our hands, okay? When somebody uses their hands, it doesn't look like this, okay? It looks like everything's working out in front of their chest. So, we want to recap this drill, okay? Um, I think it's a really valuable teaching drill for kids of all ages, as we talked about, for this guy's swing. Um, it really fine-tunes the upper body half of the swing. All right, he's got good balance. He's doing really well with his lower half, but we're kind of pulling off and we're dipping back a little bit and we're using our shoulders, okay? So this drill, let's recap, because this is important. We don't want to do a drill the wrong way and reinforce bad habits. That's the last thing we want to do. And like I said, this is for free, given parents who maybe can't afford lessons or haven't got the time, whatever it may be, uh, access to what instructors have other kids doing, okay? And this is a great drill for that. What we're doing is we're using our hands. You'll hear people say that all the time in the baseball and softball worlds. What that means is they're not swinging with their shoulders. So I can move my hands while my shoulders stay square, okay? So I'm here and after they fine tune this swing and you'll see after a few rounds, after a few reps, they'll get up and they'll have this really nice pretty swing until they hit about four or five good and then they start doing it all over again. Um, but that's what we do as ball players, you know. We're, we're rolling, 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 then we try to hit the ball a little further and we fall apart. And then you build back up. But that's the beauty of the game. Uh, 
but you want to see the same swing with them standing up. All right, it's nice and easy, everything's relaxed, and you're just throwing the barrel through the zone. Okay, I don't care if your kid's 8, 12, 15, or 18, this is a great drill for him to do. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, that about does it for the show today. Um, hope you enjoyed the drill, the tips. And as always, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We now have playlists. Uh, we have a good amount of subscribers, which we're excited about. But on this playlist, you can see the drill videos, which there are more to come. Uh, you can see all the shows. And be sure to check us out, Instagram, Twitter. Um, hashtag Take a Swing Tuesday to get your swing or your kid's swing to us. Um, hashtag Ask Wade G will answer your shows right here on the Wade Gainer Talk Show. We'll answer your shows. Did I say we'll answer your shows? Yeah. Send in shows. It's too late. <laughs> All right. Send in your question. We'll answer your question on the show. Uh, and yeah, hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time, Bible verse of the week is Proverbs 22.6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Kind of goes hand in hand with what we're talking about. Um, really use this game as a teaching tool for your son, your daughter. If you're a ball player, you're listening. Um, this game can teach you a lot of things as you go on in life if you let it. Uh, one of my favorite sayings, use baseball, don't let baseball use you. Um, kind of kind of goes along the same lines. So anyways, have a great week and God bless.